But that's a good example. I was wondering when, you know, because we all got them stories, you know what I'm saying? And I was so sure think about yeah. one just like that when you said that. And, uh, once you said something about the co-defendant, I just was like, oh, man, I, I know how this story right here is. So uh, yeah. let me ask you this. This this See, a lot of homies can't answer this question because they would have never been in this situation. You. You fat trail, bro. Like, you humble and you modest, right? But let's be honest, bro. You fat trail. A joker right now that's watching this in California may know who you are. A person watching mm -hmm. this in the UK may know who you are and not know who I am. You know, our right. biggest homie in the feds, they got the most pull, whoever that may be. You know, we got a bunch of them. But whoever yeah. that person may be with all their influence, don't nobody know them and somebody know you outside of that circle, right? Boom. Mm -hmm. Fat trail. You went to the feds. You from D.C. How did paperwork play into your bid? Okay, so when I first got... To the uh when I when I left DC jail, I went to the holdover in Warsaw, Virginia. Warsaw, Virginia, because of the K2 epidemic, they wasn't allowing you to bring paperwork from DC jail to Warsaw, Virginia. So boom, you know, even at the federal holdover, the homies want to see your paperwork. You know what I'm saying? But we know about this new rule with the K2 thing. From my understanding, I believe it was that. DC jail sent your paperwork to your lawyer. And when you got to your final destination, your lawyer sent your paperwork to your final destination. Okay. So I left, um, I left, uh, when I left Warsaw, after I left Warsaw, they sent me to FCI Hazleton in Hazleton, West Virginia. When I got to FCI Hazleton, all the men was hit to the new rule about the paperwork and all that. But I told my lawyer, I'm a man, I already told my lawyer, look, I'm going to need my paperwork when I hit this job. <laughs> I don't want no excuses. And my lawyer was a good lawyer, Glenn Ivey. He actually running for governor now. I mean, man, bad dude, man. Shout bad. out to Glenn Ivey. Glenn Ivey, a black man. He understood me completely. Mr. Reeves, look, I work for you. Whatever you want, I'll do. <clears throat> Plus, I paid him. So whatever you want, whatever you want me to do, look, I'll mail this shit all around 50 states if you want me to. You paid me. You know what I'm saying? So when I got there... The homies knew about the new rule as far as the K2 was a concern. Stay patient with me. My paperwork came. I walked out on a um, tier. And um, the uh, the big homie of my unit was the nigga Skip, OG Skip from the Toad, Montana. Oh, shout out to Skip, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, big Skip, man. Skip, I, I walked up to Skip. Hey, Skip, here go my paperwork. If anybody on this unit, excuse me, man, attention on the tier. My name is Martrell Reeves, a.k.a. Fetrell from Washington, D.C. He got my paperwork right here. If anybody want to read my paperwork, it's right here. I'm in sales such and such. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it went. And I, and after I announced that on the tier, I took my paperwork with me to the child hall. And once we sat at the, you know, D.C., we had the most tables in Hazleton. So once we sat at the table in Hazleton, he got my paperwork, man. Anybody want to read my paperwork, here it go. And a couple dudes wanted to read it. And I passed it around to the table. And by the time we was finished that child, they gave me my paperwork back. Glad you said it like that. I mean, and that's definitely how it goes. I actually got in trouble for bringing my paperwork to child hall. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, certain jumps, they'll lock you up for that. In certain jumps, mm -hmm. I've heard. But what I wanted to say, and I want to ask you this before I get too deep into it, right? For a person that don't understand, like for a youngin, he a stepper. He ain't been to the feds. He ain't even been to adult prison yet. In his mind, he's saying, man, I fuck with Fat Trail. Fuck Fat Trail got to show, man, I ain't got to show nobody shit. But you ain't feel no type of way you did that as a man. Can you explain it? That's not nobody pressing you. That's not no less of a man. You Can you explain the mental part of that, the psychological part of you showing your paperwork and say, bro, I I'm one of the men, man. We we going we gonna to get past that and let's go to the next thing. But it ain't something that you, you got to do because you scared. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, first things first is this. I ain't make the prison laws. My whole life growing up, I told myself I'll never go to prison. I told myself that. I don't think of jail or prison as being cool or none of that. Mm -hmm. I understand it's necessary. You know, it's, 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 I'll never give rapists and pedophiles a pass. Never. Um, I didn't make the laws, but I understood when I chose the streets, when I chose to step outside, because there's people from around my area who, who didn't choose the streets. It's niggas who live in the Pentacles today who never chose the streets. I respect them. I love them. I help them any way I can. I chose the streets. 
I knew what came with it. So once once my old head men started giving me the law about the jail and the feds, okay, I'm under law. I'm doing what needs to be done. Trail, when you touch the yard, you need to provide your paperwork. Say no more. I'm a man. I got nothing to hide. So why would I feel some type of way about showing my paperwork? As a matter of fact, technically, I want y'all to read my paperwork. I want y'all to know how I was moving out there in the street anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want y'all to know. You know, a lot of niggas get locked up with 380s, high points, knives, and all. Look, I'm riding around with that big shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so technically, I kind of wanted you to read my paperwork. So what I say to that young stepper who feel like, man, I'm a stepper, I ain't got to show you. Listen, man, ain't nothing wrong with it. If you're a real stepper, let me read that. You see how you step? You say you stepping, right? Let me read. Let me see how you step. Let me, let me see if you if you if, if you shot two times and ran, or if you dropped the whole thirty. And what you do? Let me let, let me let me see how you really was stepping. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with providing your paperwork when you say you about what you about. Understood. I ain't make the prison rules. I was just I was just explaining. I was born in the nineties. The OGs gave me the game of what I needed to do when I when I first got to the. Um, to the prison system and 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 I'm living under that law. I'm, I'm I'm doing what needs to be done as a man because I don't want nobody looking at me in no way, shape, or form. If I'm living amongst the men, it's because I deserve to live amongst the men. Yeah, I mean, and that go for me too, Trey. Like I don't know where it started. I mean, remember, I had been in jail almost nine years before I went to the federal system. I was a part of the law and closing. I didn't know yeah. and we didn't do that uh paperwork down law. People knew you from the Washington Post, the grapevine, the DC jail. You know what I mean? That right. was Instagram there. So we didn't do that. Like a dude to just. Oh, okay. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. Ask anybody older than me. We ain't nobody walking around with paperwork. Dudes knew what was up with you before that. Like yeah. this paperwork thing came for me in the feds. And uh, I'm saying I could go back to the 90s. I could go back to my father was down there for an example. If you was a rapist, if you was a rat, you know, a person could put bones and rumors on you. And then if it got to a point where as though you was a man or two groups was about to clash, then I have seen dudes go to the law library. But other than that, it was word of mouth down low because why? If if if, if Fat Trail go to trial right now in the day, I can walk in U.S. District Court in the District of Columbia, Greenbelt, Superior Court, anywhere, and I can sit in your whole trial. That's yeah. the difference when you got D.C. jail to Lawton. So, yeah. just to put that little history out there while we talking, it just came up. But when right. I had went to the feds, I had been in nine years and I had to make this shit about me. When I went in, they said, right. you show your paperwork and like you. I was proud to show them my paperwork. I came in as a kid and I ain't say nothing. I ain't break no laws. It was just in me. Nobody taught me this. I just seen my people do it and I knew to just shut the fuck up. Right, absolutely. All right, so, mm -hmm. so, so, so that's cool. Now that take me to this other question. And uh, uh, one thing about me, I ain't in no controversy and I want to shout out to you. I've never seen you uh, initiate no controversy, but other people have put your name in controversy because you're doing things. You know, oh, I, I, oh, I told the purple the other day, I said, bruh, shout out to you, man. I see a lot of more hating, so that means you must be doing a whole lot of more grinding. You know what I mean? Yeah, but absolutely. For, for you, you've been avoiding, I see a lot of dudes play, and uh, I don't want to mention nobody or no type of disrespectful shit, but uh, I just want to say, I see you've been sidestepping and avoiding anything that ain't really about you taking care of them goals we talked about in the beginning. Absolutely. But with that being said, is uh and and hot topics and, and all type of things that people talking about, they talking about rappers and street rappers. So you know, the BG topic is a big topic, and I don't need you to talk about BG. You know, Fat Trail is a big enough story for me. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to ask you, you know what I mean? You're a rapper, you know what I mean that I consider to be from the streets and from here, and I consider you a homie of mine, so like, you know, we can skip that part. But for sure, because I know that you have been through some of these things that I've been through now, even our understanding, our connect, our conversations are different at this point after the feds than when I first met you. I wouldn't even talk to you about some of those things, but now I say, shit, Trey, I'm supposed to know this shit now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. So, to your understanding, and we ain't got to beat the BG thing up and go back. Everybody knows this BG story now. To your understanding, what is the problem with BG name even being in paperwork? Um, as a as an as an adult man, I feel like the problem with his name being in paperwork is that, you know, it shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Um, I grew up under the hot boys, man. I grew up under big times. Me too. Ball of Blocking was one of my favorite movies. 
and the way that they rap, talk, act in their movies, the way they dress, I'm under the impression that they know about law, street law, prison law. They know. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, I even before we started, I had to ask you a couple of questions because it's a lot of things I didn't know as far as with the situation, but your name shouldn't be in that. You, you, you know, here's why. Because one, they tell you they self, you have the right to remain silent. That's number one. But if you don't know that, let's say you don't know that you have the right to remain silent. Do you know that you have the right to plead the fifth? Do you know that you have the right to plead the fifth? You have two rights. It's two. Here's two reasons why you have the choice for your name to never be in paperwork. One, you can remain silent. I don't mean it to be my middle finger. One, you can remain silent. And two, yeah, that was crazy. One, you can remain silent. And two, you can plead the fifth. You know what I'm saying? So these are reasons why you, sh you should never want your name in paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody's trying to question me without my attorney about a crime, whether I committed it or Joe Blow from 66th Street committed it, are you serious? Are you trying to get me to implicate somebody in a crime? You trying, it's cameras recording here. It's, I know you got a microphone under the table or something. Yeah. Martra Shah Reeves won't be labeled as no rat in no way, shape, or form. So therefore, to eliminate all that, what we in here talking about? I don't want to hear, I hear people talk about subpoenas all the time. Subpoena this, subpoena, you got to come. The next question I was going to ask, Russ, you know so much now, your mind going there, but you go ahead. I was going to ask you about the subpoena thing next. Well, you can ask me, go ahead. So what would you do, right? Me and you, I don't want us to be keep talking about BG because I want people to understand. People, people send me a rack of DMs. Matter of fact, I ain't even setting you up, Trill. Let me let me let me clear this line of questioning up real quick. Okay. Everybody know I run the DC Black page, you know what I mean? To support the homies, right? Free to rip. Absolutely. I get a bunch of uh, uh messages, a DM saying, damn, big homie is BG fucked up as BG. Now, now you know you just admitted that most of us grew up on the high board. Everybody knows street niggas fuck with the high boards. So yeah. They saying, you know, is this right? For many days, I didn't say nothing about it. And then I went into whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, my whole thing with everybody was, you know, we shouldn't have never went to the grand jury. Dudes that claimed they were street were sending me messages like, what difference do it make and this and this and that? It only make a difference to people like me and you, Trey. So I only ask you that for anybody to know and understand. If me and you was in the car, Trey, mm -hmm. And uh, I guess I gotta interject the, this 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 goofy ass plan that they allegedly came up with. And if I had an opinion, I'm gonna tell you that uh, BG lawyer came up with this plan. I don't think no street nigga came up with this plan to somebody take the beef and somebody back out the beef. But I'm gonna keep right. that myself. So, I just so, not to cut you off real quick. Nah, right? Man. Let's let's create the scenario and let's just use us. Let's just right. Use That's us. what I'm saying. Let's just yeah. But the reason why I said all that complicated shit in between, because Trey, if me and you was in the car at this point in our life, or yeah. at that point in our life, bro, I would never look at you. Right? <laughs> we could skip the me or you to drive and we gonna GTA and let's not say that. We stopped and we here and a dog in the car and there's one. Yeah. All right. I'm telling you, for me, I don't you can say whatever you want, what you would do. But if 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 I'm dictating the plan, it's never gonna be that one of us is going to take the beef and I'm going to agree and point the finger, right? And mm -hmm. the only way that I'm going to agree that one of us take the beef is I'm a felon and you not. And you can stand it and you can get out. And I and, and this, get, this gets us into the conversation. Mm -hmm. Then there's no reason for me to tell MPD, right? 5D pull us over, we on Ben and Road. 5D pull us over, you got the dog. We got the dog, it's just one. But yeah. it's mine. Let's say it's mine. Let's let's turn the scales. Let's say it's mine, Trip. Right. And I just came home. You say, E man, uh, I'm gonna take it. I got shout out to my man Deck, shout out to my man Whack. I got homies that did this for each other when one was a juvenile, one was an adult. All right, so yeah. anyway, let's get to the point. You say, yeah. uh, E, I'm gonna take the beef. All right. When we get out of the car and they say, Oh, we got this, and you say, Man, that's my joint. I know from being in a situation that they supposed to just take you. Now, now in these days, sometimes they take both of us. Mm -hmm. Now we got to man up and know, hey, bruh, 
Only one nigga can go to prison for a gun. We might can go to two niggas, three niggas might can go to jail for a gun, but only one man can go to prison for a gun, bro. Remember that. You know that. I'm talking about for anybody. You you already know. All right. So with that being said, Trail, I made that long and drawn out to say, I never got to tell 5D or the jumpers. Man, that's Trail Gun. Trail said it. So now from here on out, you supposed to let me go. Now I'm arguing with you about why you not letting me go. It ain't my joke. Why, why, why? When I get to the police station, if they still do it, then trail, we go all the way through with that. We shouldn't have been in the car together if we can't ride this shit all the way out together for one. Now we can ride it all the way out together. And if you took the beef, right, I never go to the grand jury. I never get subpoenaed to go to the grand jury, but something just popped in my head that we gonna say on here. You don't get subpoenaed to go to the grand jury if you don't say nothing questionable at first to the police, because whatever you say don't get to the DA to get to the grand jury. So sure. through what me and you talking, I just told myself BG and other boys said something to the police long before they got to the grand jury, which is why they were subpoenaed to be forced to come. Mm -hmm. Now, back to me and you. I had to put that in it because I just thought about it. Wow. I never got to go to the grand jury. I never got to do nothing. The only thing I got to do is get out of jail after they drop the charge on me. Make sure you are. Right, make sure whoever you tell me to look out for is all right until you finish doing whatever that you got to do. And you should be right out. Why? Because no matter what you do, you should get probation because you never had to have had a child. Yeah. All right. that, that, that's what I'm saying we would do. But for sure, if they sent me a subpoena, let's be fair for the sake of the conversation. Mm -hmm. If they sent me a subpoena and say, you got to come down here for Montreal Reeves. Of course, I don't ever want to go. I got young homies call me all the time say, E, do I got to go? Do I got to go? And I say, are they asking you or are they sending you paper? If they just ask you, nah, you don't got to go. But if they no. send you this piece of paper, then what they're going to do is they're going to end up picking you up. And a lot of our young homies that's in the street, they got shit on them. If they pick yeah. them up for that, then they catch a so child. don't let them pick you up. So don't let them pick. That, that's the only reason I ever say don't let them pick you up. Because if you live in that life, bro, when they pick you up, you don't know. It ain't a video game. You can't pause it. Yeah. Like you now said. you got a new charge. All right. So yeah. if you get down there, and for real, for real, I ain't saying nothing. Ain't nobody else said. Tone spoke on this. Thorough, big OGs from all other cities from the street spoke on it. But if you get down there. Oh, Trail, don't let me forget. I said I was going to say that. I'm going to say that now we got to that part. If you get down there, you tell the people you don't remember, right? Everyone got the right to say they don't recall. Everyone. Government mm -hmm. side and the defense side. Or you can straight plead the fifth. Although a lot of people got to remember, most of the time when you plead the fifth, you're supposed to plead the fifth not to incriminate yourself. Although people have learned to plead the fifth, period. That protection, which is in the Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, Gives you the right to do that, so yeah. you know th that's how you that's how you should do that. And what I said when I said I want to remember, I'm going to drop that in there. Reason why that why that part right there means something to me, bro, is that I got arrested for 16. I went to jail for murder. Like anybody in DC know, like know little DC history, and you know about me. Everybody know I got charged as adult for murder at 16. But I got charged as adult for murder at 16, and I pleaded guilty to it. But I pleaded guilty to the particular crime. Because my co-defendant, which was my big homie, I was 16, he was 24, bro. The, the DA made contact with him. He took the DA to the house of a person he sold the murder weapon to. to got them, forced them to turn the weapon over, and then told the story of what really happened, okay? Not to go too much mm. into my business and not to open up too many cans of worms, all right? When mm. I got the information that he had did it, I pleaded guilty months later after thinking about it, but it took me months to do it. But I pleaded guilty and took 15 to life and went to jail, right? So when a person mm. say, BG ain't telling on them, BG ain't come to get on the stand, bro. You mm. never go to get on the stand when you know you're done. So me, I could have went to trial with my discovery saying that he did this and he did this. Why? Because the statements are what? They in grand, grand, grand jury transcripts. So that is why going to the grand jury telling somebody somebody did something that's bad, bro, because they use the information in your indictment and they use your indictment to take you to trial and they use you to trial to burn your ass to up. Burn you up in prison. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Uh, 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 that, that, that's that's my take on the trail for you since you since you turned the interview on me, gave me an opportunity. That, that's my opinion. Like that's how I feel about right. it. And so, trail. Here's another, you, here's another thing. Not to cut you off, right? Here's another thing I want to say about pleading the fifth. Some people believe that, oh, well, I only could plead the fifth if, if I know the question they're asking me is going to incriminate myself. No. Right. If, you don't understand the, if you don't understand the question that they're asking you, 
If you feel like the question is a trick question, if you feel like they asking you a question about a crime, right, but they asking you about somebody else, <clears throat> but you was there because they play dirty games and they can trick you, man. If you don't understand, plead the fifth. I don't recall. I don't remember. I don't know about that. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Or I plead the fifth because guess what? I've been in a situation where in front of a grand jury, I got subpoenaed for a murder. I pleaded the fifth so much. That was like, Mr. Reese, is it, is it your intention to plead the fifth to every, every question, question about that? Guess, I ain't say yes. Guess what I said? I plead the fifth. <laughs> Bitch, you know I'm about to plead the fifth all the way out. I plead right. the fifth. Right, right. Is your name Marcio Reese? I plead the fifth. Yeah. Are you from the, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth so much, man, the grand jury was like, Shh. but I had one black lady in the back like this. She was like, shaking so her funny. head, yes. Slow, but she wasn't trying to tip the who was beside her, but she in the back like, I plead the fifth all the way out, man. So you don't, I don't want you to think, well, oh, I'm only allowed to plead the fifth with, with certain questions. Nah, plead the fifth all the way out. That's a constitutional right. They shouldn't have never gave it to us. Yeah. Plead the fifth. I agree. You feel me? But also, you can remain silent, man. You can say, oh, because guess what? With grand juries, right, here's what people don't know. This is why it's important to educate the youth, man, because I didn't know this either. If you get subpoenaed to speak in front of a grand jury, right, your lawyer is not allowed in the room with you and the prosecutor in the grand jury. But after every question, you are allowed to leave the room and talk to your lawyer about that specific question. So you got you can speak. They to cannot. They cannot make you answer. They cannot Bro, make you got subpoena. My lawyer was there. You know what I'm saying? My lawyer. What happened was they wanted me for questioning. They, came, they kept coming to my mother's house. That was the only address they knew. They kept coming to my mother's house, kept coming to my mother's house, kept coming to my mother's house. My mother told him, my son not coming. Y'all know my son not coming. Y'all want him for questioning, really. If y'all don't have nothing to arrest my son, my son will never come see y'all. It's not going to happen. Y'all can stop coming here. You can leave your card on the carpet in the crack of the door all you want. My son not coming. So what they did was they subpoenaed me. Okay, well, I got three paid lawyers. I got a paid lawyer for every state we live in. Mer I know D.C. not a state. I got a paid lawyer for every every, 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 every jurisdiction. Every jurisdiction. Every, you got first, one. every jurisdiction. Thomas Mooney, Macon Shrafkin, and Glenn Ivy. Whichever one you want to come see me at, I'm walking in with them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it'll never be that. So I, this is when I learned. He said, look, Trail, you ain't got to panic. Don't trip. You don't want to answer nothing? Plead the fifth. If you if you feel like you they asked you a question that you want to answer, you had the right to walk out after that question and consult with me about that question. Then you can go back and I said, you ain't got to worry about that. Because I, I don't want to say every question. <laughs> yeah. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't got to... Even though I got the right to do that, I'm not even going to walk out and ask my lawyer because I don't want to talk about nothing. Because guess what? Everything is being documented. Everything that you say in this room is being documented. So I'm thinking about the future. I'm thinking about the paperwork. You know, my paperwork going to say if they do decide to print this out, you know how all these blogs putting out all these old jail videos of these rappers in jail and all that. So I'm thinking about the future. Y'all going to ask me something? Y'all recording this? I plead the fifth, man. I ain't got nothing to say. I don't, I don't want to answer no question. Is your name Montreal Reeves? I plead the fifth. I don't have nothing to say. So, period.